What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're gonna be working on the Supra. Uh, I'm swapping out my uh, Bosch 4.9 wideband to the 4.2. Uh, I've been running uh, an AFR gauge for a while. You, probably, you guys probably saw in, the, in an older video, I did the Auto Extrude AC vent gauge pod install. Uh, well, kind of doing more research and actually looking at the ECU, the AM Infinity that I have, uh, it actually has a built-in Yugo controller in it. Uh, so I already have an AEM BTI CAN gauge. It fits in the OEM Super uh, location, uh, and it has, and it displays every parameter that I need. The only thing is, the only reason why I've been still been running the AFR gauge is because, um, come to find out, I didn't have the correct sensor to connect to the uh, harness that I have for the Infinity uh, ECU to pick up uh, Lambda 1 and Lambda 2. So I've been running a single analog to it to Lambda 3. Uh, so today we're gonna be correcting that, um, swapping out sensors, um, should be as simple as connecting it up and then going into the ECU and just changing uh, um, which Lambda is getting its actual fuel uh, ratio for. Uh, so that's what we're gonna be doing today's video. Hope you guys like, uh, roll the intro and we'll get started. All right, so this is the uh, 4.2 Bosch sensor. Uh, this is a different uh, connector as you can see. And this is the adapter that I had to get to it that goes directly to the Eamon Infinity ECU. Uh, this connects directly to that. And then this plugs in directly to uh, my harness that I have uh, on my passenger side dashboard or uh, passenger side footwell. Uh, and this is the old connector. So you can kind of see the difference. This is what I was running. And now I'll be going to this. Um, as far as uh, removing things from the car, I already have the uh, the ECU readily accessible because I've been doing some uh, idle adjusting over the past uh, kind of couple days and weeks, I guess I could say. And so everything's kind of already taken apart down here. Uh, but while I'll set you guys up, I'm gonna uh, yeah remove my catch can. I uh, just set it off to the side so I can get back here to this uh, the harness that runs into the firewall. Uh, I already have my uh, the current 4.9 uh, running through underneath here. So I'm just gonna remove this, uh, set up the next one. Same position, run the wire in, and then connect it to the ECU. Uh, and then before I button everything down, I'm just gonna make sure that everything senses correctly. Uh, so that's what you guys will see me do now. All right, so this is um, the 4.2 hooked up. Uh, this is a connector, uh, pretty simple, straightforward. Uh, I'm leaving all this kind of undone. This is the old 4.9 connector that goes up to the uh, the center console area where the uh, stereo is, where the AFR gauge is mounted. I'm kind of leaving this all out just, uh, just to make sure everything works before I kind of button everything back up. And then I'm also gonna have to take apart the dash, which you guys won't see on camera. I'll do once I close out this video uh, of just removing the old AFR gauge, as long as all this is successful. Uh, coming to the inside. So coming down here, um, this is uh, my AEM uh, Yugo or Lambda, what it's labeled here uh, for the connector for the uh, 4.2 wideband. And this is the, the end of that harness that I just fed through the firewall. So uh, pretty, pretty simple and straightforward. I'm just gonna connect this into here. Just like that, all in place. I'm gonna leave this out. Um, and then I'm gonna take a quick pause, start the car, and then uh, go through the logging options. And I'll show you how to uh, switch if you are, happen to be running the same scenario I did as far as the analog going into your ECU. Uh, how to switch it over to the Lambda 1 Lambda 2 from this. In the front seat, uh, everything's hooked up to the AM. Uh, and I did, I just ran through this, everything worked fine. I'm just gonna show you the settings that I uh, used to set up so that everything worked well. Um, come up here to Wizards up top. 
uh, setup wizard. Uh, then you're going to go into advanced setup over here, drop the drop down for that, and then go to lambda control. And then the way I had it set up, at least for my tune, uh, go to show advanced setup. And then I, I didn't change any of the gain that my tuner did. The only thing I changed was my input selection. So that was it. So these were set on um, lambda three uh, for my single uh, analog feed going in from my uh, AM gauge to my ECU. Uh, so I just changed it to lambda one and lambda two, which are read from that same um, that same pinout um, on the AM Infinity ECU. So that was the, that was the only thing I changed in here. Uh, close out of this. Uh, I'll sort of log again just to make sure everything's kind of gravy. Starting it up. So um, super simple and straightforward install. Um, I'm gonna use this time off camera uh, in between the next video when I show you the, the install of the, the boost controller. Um, I'm gonna remove this AM gauge pod. Uh, I'm gonna utilize my 12 volt, 12 volt switch power wire from that to power my boost solenoid. Um, so I'll leave that attached kind of running out or I'll run that wire from the boost control solenoid into the cabin. Um, but uh, as far as this like it, it, it's that's it uh i'm glad it worked i'm glad there was no other issue and i'm super thankful to just help and continue keep forward and clean up uh clean up the cabin uh of the super uh so take it easy guys like if you enjoy the content and then i'll see you guys in the next video peace